I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Annie Oakley. I take three fingers from the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a straight line out, curve line down, curve line out, in, curve line, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, straight line out, curve line down, curve line out, curve line in, and connect. I come right here on the left hand side and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. I come on the left and I'm going to leave it alone. Sorry. Okay. That's because I come over here on the left and I'm going to draw a big curve line up, out, down, in, connect. Now I come back over here and I draw a wavy, wavy line down, up, connect on the left, and right here I draw a wavy line down, up, connect on the right. Now I come back to the left and draw a little curved line down on the left and a little curved line down on the right. I come right here in the middle and I draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. And I'm going to add curve line, curve line, baby circle, baby circle. On the right, curve line, curve line, baby circle, baby circle on the left. Right here, if you have room, just put a little curve line down, baby circle, baby circle. Now I come up here and I draw a baby circle on the left and a baby circle on the right. I come all the way up to the top and I draw a slightly curved line, straight line, curved line down. Right at this point, I put a dot and I draw a straight line up, down, in, out, over, down, straight line, straight line, and connect. I come right here inside and I draw a curved line down on the left, come up, curved line down on the right. I draw a curve line, curve line, come back, curve line, curve line up, connect, curve line, curve line up, connect. Little curve line, one, two on the left, little curve line, one, two on the right. In the center, slight, straight diagonal, little curve line, leave it floating, come over here on the left. Curve line up, down, up, out, come back to the left, curve line down, over, up, and connect. Come inside this space and let's just add some wavy lines. Come down, let's add some wavy lines. Come over on the right, wavy line, wavy line. Now I think that's it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my brown, color in this space brown, this space brown, this space brown, you'll do a better job than me, as always, this side brown, bring it down, this side brown, I'm doing kind of a loop-de-loop -loop to give it a little bit of texture. Jump over and this side brown. Okay. Now, I'm going to come up and with my yellow, I'm going to color her star on her hat. Come down, color her earrings, yellow, yellow, and her buttons and jewelry down here. 
Now what you have to remember, she was a star in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. So some of her jewelry was fancy because she was a show person. Then I'm going to take my pink. I'm going to color this space. And if you have multicultural crayons, this is part of her neck. If you don't have multicultural crayons, you can just leave her white. But again, it's always good to color in the face so that you can see which part is body parts and which part is wardrobe. I think this is apricot. Okay. Then I gave her hat this space gray, like a Stetson cowboy hat. This is all gray. And This tippy top part is gray. And then I'm going to give her a blue denim dress. So I'm giving her this blue. She was a performer, a, a sharp shooter. Okay, she learned how to shoot because she had to hunt for her family. Okay. In the background, you know how I am, I just added some red stripes. Okay, why was Annie Oakley so important? Well, she was one of the first female women superstars in show business. Her skill put her on par with other men. And she was only 4 feet 11 inches tall. Okay, let's see what she looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Annie Oakley, all colored in, American sharpshooter. She starred in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. And she was so famous, we still have musicals and films made about her like Annie Get Your Gun. Okay, bye-bye.